life's a battle that don't scare me. Today we're doing a sit down video, which I tend to not really do because you guys love the vlogs, but I had to switch it up a little bit so that I can give some information to my up and coming flight attendants or just, you know, vent a little bit. So if you're ready for the video, please give it a big thumbs up and let's get right into it because we have a lot to discuss. So before we start, I want to give two disclaimers. The first is the fact that I'm on a swivel chair and I have no self-control. So you see me swiveling my life away, just ignore it and listen to me talk because that's what this is. This is a sit down chatty video. And the second disclaimer is everything that I'm talking about is my personal experience and the things that I've gone through as a flight attendant. I have been a flight attendant for a year and almost two years because in march it'll be two years and that's crazy because time is truly just flying like literally flying okay so the first thing i want to talk about that i have to talk about is being broke girl i was broke right now i feel like i'm finally i'm over the water right now i'm over the water barely but like i'm over the water I'm at that point, that little sweet spot that people are talking about. I feel like I'm tr I'm starting to see it just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And I'm okay with that because the first year really was humbling. Very humbling. Because I was not used to cutting the things that I like to do. Such as getting face shoes, going shopping, taking myself out on dates, going on vacation when I wanted to. I was not able to afford that lifestyle because I wasn't making enough money. And that's just me being 1000% with you guys. When I saw that check, I said, oh, we're gonna have to really hustle and like make some adjustments. So I had to sacrifice a lot of the things that I enjoyed in order to pretty much survive that first year. And it was an enjoyable experience. I just don't enjoy it. It's not an enjoyable experience for me and I don't like any of you. <laughs> but if you don't have these type of bills, then this is not gonna be a problem for you. But for me, it definitely was. And if it wasn't for my family, I would have lost it all. My apartment, my car, my, my sanity, you know? So shout out to my family because they really held me down that first year. Because man, you don't understand how much of a mental toll that takes on you when you can't afford to just take yourself out to get Chipotle. Chipotle? Like, oh my God, I love Chipotle. And if you don't have anybody to support you within those that first year, start saving now. Second thing I wanna talk about are the long days, okay? The long days. I'm not talking about delays because delays are things you just cannot control. I'm talking about those little things that add up. Let me give you an example. Your day starts at 7 a.m. because you have to report at 10 a.m. You check in at 10 a.m. Your flight leaves at 10.50 because you're going to Florida somewhere. So you get to Florida, it's three hours the flight. But from Florida, you have another leg to LA. You go into LA, the flight time is like six hours, right? Let's just say. You get there by LA time, 7 p.m. New York time, 10 p.m., right? You've been up since 7 a.m., maybe six, maybe five if you're a commuter, I don't know. But I'm just giving you an idea. You get to the LA airport, you're outside and you're waiting for the van to pick you up. No van in sight, no shuttle in sight, no nothing. So you have to call the company, figure out what's going on. Finally, the transportation gets there, let's just say 25 minutes later. You're in the car, you're on your way to the hotel. Guess what? LA traffic because it's rush hour. Now that's another, what, 30 to 45 minutes in a van trying to get to your hotel. Now let's just say you guys just have 12 hours of rest in this hotel minus that whole hour of you just trying to get from the airport to the hotel, right? Now you have to minus another hour or two if you like to decompress after your day, like I do. Like I need to clean the rooms and I also need to just eat and relax and just not think about anything that just happened, right? Now imagine that with a delay on top. 
Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Enjoy the days that you don't have those type of long days because they don't happen happen often. So these are things that you just can't control. This is not the airline's fault. It's not your fault. It's no one's fault. It's just life in general. So just be open when things like this happen. Don't dwell on how negative it could be because you're just not gonna have a good time. The third thing I wanna talk about is how this job can take a toll on your mental health. And this is very important because mental health pretty much can make and break this job and it can get very challenging sometimes. Personally, I'm gonna keep it 100%. I feel like seeing over 600 people a day is not normal. That's not a typical thing that people do on a day-to-day -day basis but being a flight attendant and having multiple legs a day with a body of 200 people it's kind of normal normal right and on top of that you have to consider the fact that you are enforcing safety protocols in a courteous and respectful manner to adults whom sometimes are traveling for different reasons and also may have had different situations happen to them prior to them meeting you. Let's just be real. People are freaking mean. And my advice, if you take anything away from this video, would be this. Remind yourself that every person that you are encountering is a new face. So if you're repeating yourself about putting your seatbelt on, opening the bathroom door, stating how many snacks we have on board, whatever it may be that you're repeating, remind yourself that you're repeating this to a brand new person. Because the 30th person that you repeated it to tapped you out mentally, but this person that you're, the 600 person you just met is asking you because they never traveled before or they just simply don't know. So that's something that really helped me in the beginning of my journey because it's very easy to lose your patience when it comes to repeating yourself. Honestly, that's what it is. Repeating yourself to adults and to people that have different type of personalities that you may not be a fan of and that's okay because no one is perfect and you're not supposed to get along with everyone. But that is something that you need to think about when coming onto this career path. Also, I want to point out that my company does offer 12 sessions of therapy if you decide to do it. And they also give you options to add your family members if you wanted to. So that's a great resource if you're going through anything and need to talk to someone. Get professional help. Hopefully in every airline they give us that option because it can affect your mental state and on top of all of that just think about the personal things that you're going through on your day-to-day -day life so definitely take those days that you're off and get yourself right mentally because like i said seeing 600 people plus in a day is not normal nothing's normal but you know what i mean like it's not mentally something that you should be doing you know Okay, the fourth thing I wanna talk about is how lonely this job can get. And I didn't realize how lonely it could feel because I am a loner. I've always done things on my own and I enjoy my own company, but I feel like when you get to see these beautiful countries and places all over the world, you can't help it but to think about like, damn, I wish I could share this with my mom, my sister, my loved one. So it does get very lonely in that aspect, but also with building connections. Sometimes you may not get along with your coworkers, and even when you do get along with your coworkers, you may not be able to work with them every single time, or you may not be able to see them every single time because they don't live in the same state as you. And even though you guys are flight attendant and can fly anywhere together, your schedules just don't align. Because I've met so many wonderful, beautiful people along my journey, and I have not seen most of them 
since the last time we worked together. You try to make these plans, but sometimes they don't make it out of the, the, the group chat. That's just being honest. So it does get lonely at times. So if you're not used to being alone majority of your time, you're just gonna have to find ways to really ground yourself and be present with the situation you're in because it goes back to like, you know, mental health. Like if you're not there mentally, then being lonely on top of that mental state, not being there, it's gonna get really challenging for you. And the last thing on my con list is the fact that we don't get any sick days. Sick days is not a thing in the aviation world. I don't know why, but basically they're saying you gotta show up and show out every single time. I don't make the rules. I'm just here to spread awareness that there is no sick days in the aviation world. Don't get me wrong, you can definitely call out, but you will be penalized for calling out. And if it's considered critical coverage or holiday, double. <laughs> you know I had to double it. <laughs> double the damage. Think about that and take that into consideration as well if you're planning to jump into the aviation world. So those are all my cons. Now let's, let's move on up to the pro. The first thing on my list is the obvious, getting paid to travel. But for me, is the travel and also to sleep, okay? Because when you get paid for the flight time, cool, whatever. But once you're done and you're chilling by the pool, chilling by the beach, taking a shower, taking a nap, key keying on the phone with whoever in a different state or country, like, you're getting paid off of that aircraft too so for me that's like i couldn't have asked for more i prayed to god so many years what can i do or how can i get a job that i get paid to sleep or just to chill he answered my prayer so i'm blessed and highly favored the second thing on my pro is the flexibility of this job remember when i spoke to you guys maybe two or three videos ago about being off for three and a half weeks and still getting paid? Tell me what job. Tell me what job will give you three and a half weeks off consecutively and still getting paid. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's a flex, okay? The third thing I wanna talk about is the fact that there's no micromanaging in this job. You come to work, you do what you're supposed to do, and you're out of there. There's no one watching you, asking you to follow up on this, follow up on that. So it's a very independent job. The fourth thing that I want to say is that every day is completely different. The last thing I want to talk about is the travel benefits. And I bet you're wondering why this is the last thing on my pro list. The reason for it is because although we fly for free domestically and we only pay for taxes internationally, the fact that it's not a confirmed seat is what gets to me. Because as you guys witnessed in September, I wanted to go to Paris for my birthday and I didn't make it on because there wasn't enough seats to accommodate my party. So when it comes to situations like that, it makes me feel defeated because it's just like you get excited to go to these new places and when you don't make it on that flight, it's just heartbreaking. But when you do make it to these places that you plan for, it is one of the most beautiful feeling to give someone that new adventure, that new memory and memories for the both of you. So like, although you may not make it sometimes, but when you do, that right there is top tier. That's it guys. These are some of the pros and cons on my list. If you're in the industry and have more to add, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear your interpretations of pros and cons. Also, I want to say that whatever, I don't know, this, this message is heavy on my heart and I just have to share it with you guys but this is your friendly reminder to do it with God this time. 
whatever it is that you wanted to do or been trying to do or have done before and are pushing it back give it one last try with god this time i don't know why this message is on my heart but i needed to share that and say that out loud and share it with the world whoever sees this i hope it finds the right people honestly because that is what is motivating me to continue into my purpose whatever it is that you want to do this time try it with god by your side and in your heart and i guarantee you whatever it is you gonna make it anyways love you guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one